There are many secrets and hidden areas in Hogwarts Legacy, and in today's video we're going to be showing you three specific ones within Hogwarts that is going to help you level up, get legendary items, and complete one of your challenges. The first secret we're going to solve is in between the Library Annex and the Great Hall. We want to head to this location right here on the map. Now when you first get here, nothing looks terribly out of place, except only one of the four braziers is actually lit up, and when you go near them, they light up like you can target them. This means this is the puzzle that we need to solve. Now you'll also notice that under the brazier is an actual icon on this little emblem right here on the bridge. This emblem corresponds to this dial right here on the floor. You can see that there's a square with an X on it, and there's a square with an X on it. Now we'll notice that below that icon is the Roman numeral four. So what we need to do is we need to light up this brazier. So we're going to use, I guess, Confringo or whatever this is. Confringo. And we're gonna light that up. Then you're gonna see this little gear engage. And what we need to do is we need to switch this to the Roman numeral four. Now we need to do this for all the rest as well. So we've got an icon with two little circles and a line. So that one is going to be number two. So we'll turn this to two. Then we have two left. So we have the little triangle with the lines, and then we have another triangle with a circle and a line. So we got three and one left. We're going to run to the end of this bridge. We're going to light up these other two braziers. So that one is already on one. I think that was the right one. And then we got to light up this one. And this one, I believe, needs to go to three. When this happens, you'll get a little cutscene of this opening up over here. And then from here, we can just walk up to it, open it up. Or if it's already open, you can just climb right down the stairs <laughs> or fall through if you time it just right. There's going to be a couple chests that you can get in here. I've showed this off in another video already, but down in the back here is actually an ornate chest that you can open for a legendary item. And this will complete the first of the three Hogwarts secrets. For the next Hogwarts secret, we need Alohomora level 1, which means we need to do the Demiguise statues quest. If you haven't done that yet, I have a great video on it. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to check that one out. We'll also need either Glacius or Arresto Momentum. Now, Arresto Momentum is later in the game, and Glacius you can get pretty early, and honestly, it works a lot better. If you decide to go the route with Glacius, you will also need a fire spell. For this secret, we're gonna need to go to the South Wing, and then to the Clock Tower Courtyard. Now, I'm sure you've already been through this area, and you've noticed this giant swinging, like, pendulum thing. It's got a little circle that overlaps these icons on the smaller circles that it's swinging across. Each of these icons corresponds to one of these locked doors. We're going to see the unicorn on this one, so that's the one we're going to get first. So what we want to do is wait for this pendulum to get over to this icon, and then we're going to freeze it with Glacius. And if you miss, all you need to do is just Confringo. go ahead and light Glacius. it on fire and then hit it with Glacius again. And as long as you get relatively close to that icon, the door should open. Now, the nice thing about using Glacius is it's not timed like Arresto Momentum, which means you can take as much time as you want. So we're going to pick up this chest right here for the Hippogriff statue. Once we get that, we can go ahead and just run outside of this room. We can hit it with a Confringo or whatever fire spell you're using, Confringo. and it'll unfreeze it. And then we need to time it on the second one right here. So we're going to wait for it to swing back. Come on, baby, and try and time it right. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That was almost perfect. Now we're going to go through this locked door right here. You'll need a Lohomora level one to unlock that door. And we're going to head up these stairs. What's up these stairs? We're going to head into this little room here. And then the door we're trying to get through is right over here. If you put yourself invisible first, you can walk right through this door and then grab this chest right here where you'll get 500 galleons. Now for the next one, we can do it from right up here. We're going to wait for it to get close to this. Glacius. Glacius. And then we're going to turn around. We're going to run right up these stairs. So we're going to go up and up and up. And once we get about here, we're going to turn right. And we're going to go down these steps right here and into this door. If we could get my god, <laughs> go through the door. Thank you. And we're going to get the wonderful cabinets. <laughs> There's also another chest right here. We can get the imperial gray and bronze wand handle, which actually might look really nice with my wand. Now, I do want to mention if you do wait long enough, the Glacius will go off on its own. So you can't take like all the time in the world, but we're going to get this fourth one right now. So we're going to cast Glacius. Glacius. Oh, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We're going to turn directly around and go up these stairs. And then once we get here, there's going to be a door. We can walk through this door, and this one will be unlocked. And we get 200 XP, and we've solved the Hogwarts secrets. Well, another one of the Hogwarts secrets. And 
a legendary chest. Now, to be able to find and complete the third Hogwarts secrets, we'll need to complete a main quest called the Polyjuice Plot, which will give you access to the Headmaster's office. Now, this quest is just before completing your third trial, so it is quite far in the game. Now, if you have already completed this quest and you don't remember how to get to the Headmaster's office, we're going to go to the Grand Staircase, and then we're going to take the Trophy Room Flu Point. From here, you might see this... From here, you might see this armored statue just completely decimate this one, which is a good time to watch. But we're going to head down this hallway. And it's it's quite of a quite a bit of a jaunt to get to the headmaster's office. We're gonna go through these double doors. We're gonna head all the way up these stairs. We're gonna go down this hallway, which is gonna lead to another set of stairs that we need to go up. This area is actually really pretty. I just wish there was more things to do here other than just run all the way to the headmaster's office. Then we gotta go all the way up these stairs. It's a lot of stairs. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't make this maze of a place. I just run through it. Then we're gonna go through this door right here. And we're gonna turn left. When we turn left, we're gonna find another set of stairs. Thankfully, this is the final set of stairs to the headmaster's office. Gonna go up here and then in... To this room right here and into the headmaster's office now if we turn left you're gonna see a level two unlock door Alohomora. we're gonna need alohomora level two and three to be able to get through this so highly recommend checking out that demiguy statue video if you have not already there we go so this is the level two unlock door and that chest right there for the avian brown Ooh, one handle that's kind of cool and then of course there is the level three unlock right here. Once unlocked, you're gonna find another set of stairs. We're gonna go up these bad boys and just collect everything you want in this area if you so desire. Professor Black, regarding your letter dated 20th of September, I shall not reconsider the admission process at Hogwarts. Regards. Okay. So we actually want to grab something right next to this music box thingy-maboober right here. It's a key. This is the key of admittance. Now we're gonna take this bad boy all the way back down the stairs. Once you're back down into the headmaster's office, we're going to exit and go back down another set of stairs. And then once we're at the bottom of this, we're very close to the end of this Hogwarts secret. We're going to go directly down this hallway and there's going to be a large lock. This is actually a kind of a really cool lock. We're gonna open it up with that key that we just got and it's gonna do all sorts of little spinnies. And once it's done, it'll go back to the center and open up. This will give us our final achievement or challenge for the Hogwarts secrets, and it's going to give us another legendary chest. If you run all the way up those Rebellion. stairs, there's actually a couple of cool things that you can get up here. We can get another field guide. It's the Quill of Acceptance, and then we've got another chest and another ornament thing. Or ornament? I don't know why I'm calling it an ornament, but this is where you'll get the arrow pink swirl um, wand and the Tower Spire collection update. Now that we've completed all three Hogwarts secrets, we can go to challenges and then to exploration. And if we go all the way down, we're gonna get to collect all of our challenge items. So we got the tailored tailcoat and the fashionable dress robes. Now the tailored coat, on the other hand, actually looks really good. And this is the same coat that Professor Black is wearing in the game. And I actually really, really like the way it looks, especially with this outfit. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the fashionable dress robes, but if you're wanting to feel pretty fancy, maybe <laughs> it'll work for you. Now, arguably the better reward is the XP that you get because XP is very limited in this game and the legendary items. So if you're needing some upgrades, it's a great way to get some upgrades and some XP because when you complete the game, you're going to need to actually level up to get one of the final quests. So I highly recommend completing this. I do hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one.